Factsverse presents Most Hilarious Windshield Notes You Have to See Help us spread the word about Factsverse and the laughter by clicking that like button. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. Many people get road rage occasionally. There are some cases where the driver feels the need to leave a note on the offender's windshield. Well, these are the most hilarious windshield notes you just have to see. You're going to laugh hard when you see some of these. Number 1. Irresponsible Parking The person who wrote this letter was really mad. The driver who received the note was parking too close to the other driver, and they let the driver know that if they parked correctly, everything would be fine. If they didn't, and they pulled up into the space, well, they let the driver know that they would be looking for them. They would find them and box them in. This couldn't have been the first time there was a parking issue, but it will likely be the last. Number 2. Taking up too many spots the person who got this note on their windshield must have been frustrated. They left a note on another driver's car that read, Yeah, if you could go ahead and park in your own spot, that'd be great. They even added a little drawing to it. Number 3. Just cut it out. The person who wrote this letter was sick and tired of a guy parking like a jerk. The note read, Dear guy, you park like a jerk. Why? Cut it out! Signed the general public. Hopefully the note worked and the world is now a better place for it. Number 4. Hurricane Katrina Comparison The person who left this note put a lot of time and energy into it. Not only is it professional, but it's also pretty clever. The note reads, Is your name Katrina? Because this parking job's a disaster. Kind of makes you wonder if they have a stack of those notes saved for the future, doesn't it? Number 5. Carly Rae Jepsen The person who wrote this note stole some lyrics from Carly's popular song, Call Me Maybe. The note reads, Hey, I just met you and this is crazy, but quit blocking our driveway. It's a clever and not-so-subtle way to get the madness to stop. Number 6. A Note From Bob Bob, the author of the note, must have been at the end of his rope when he left this note. It reads, Dear A-Hole, thank you for taking up more spaces than your self-important personality really deserves. I hope you crash and learn your lesson. Signed, Bob. Well, Bob's not much for mincing words. Number 7. Crude Yet Professional The person who left this note obviously took some time to make it. The note reads, The way you pulled in makes me wish your dad would have pulled out. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> If you're a fan of that 70s show, you will get the Kelso reference. Number 8. The Movie Star The person who found this note on their windshield never even bothered to park properly. Parking in front of a path is wrong and, well, now they know it. The note reads, Thanks for always parking across the path. It gives me the chance to be a movie star and slide across your hood now and again. Try it! It's awesome! <laughs> if the driver doesn't want their car getting damaged or scratched, maybe they should be a bit more careful when parking next time. Number 9. A kind note? Eh, not really. This note starts off in kind of a nice way. The author lets the driver know that their alarm was going off all night. They suggest that they get the alarm fixed or have it disabled. They even mentioned that they had a similar problem in the past. Just when you think the author is being kind, then you read the last paragraph where they pray the driver gets the worst night's sleep ever and that their pets will pee on the bed while they sleep. Way harsh. Number 10. Creating a Parking Spot The person who drew this special spot in the lot must have had enough. They drew lines and wrote, Parking Spot Just For You! Yep, a driver can only take just so much. Number 11. Passive-aggressive much? This driver went out of their way to move the trash cans in front of the author's home, and they weren't happy. Rather than getting angry, they chose the passive-aggressive route. The note read, Dear driver, thank you so much for taking the time to move our trash cans to let you park. We really appreciate it because it's not like we have a big blue truck to park out in front of our house or anything. Once again, thank you so much for using your personal time to make our life harder. Hate you! 
Number 12. Doubting Their Grammar The person who wrote this note was so angry about the driver's parking job, they forgot all the lessons they learned in fourth grade English class. The note let them know that when they park like a tool, people get mad. When people must write notes, they waste their time, which makes them even madder. At this point, they didn't even know it was madder or more mad. Number 13. Parking During a Storm When people have to park on the street, they're responsible for shoveling out their own spots. The person who got this note saw a freshly shoveled spot and decided to take it themselves. The person who shoveled the spot obviously wasn't happy about that, and they left a note to say so. And it reads, Thanks for being so rude by parking in the spot that I shoveled for my family. There are rules of parking etiquette during the winter. Number 14. Struggling to find a spot on the first day of school It's never easy to find a parking spot on the first day of school, at least if you want to get a decent spot. The person who took up two spots for no reason obviously didn't keep this in mind. So as a way to retaliate, somebody left a note on their windshield that read, Dear Driver, You're a dick! Signed, Every Person Trying to Find Parking on the First Day of School. Number 15. Note with a Drawing The person who left this note has some pretty good artistic ability. Their English lacks, however. The note reads, why you no park in a designated space? The picture's great, though. Number 16. Grumpy Cat Grumpy Cat is an internet sensation. Well, the person who left this note decided to use Grumpy Cat to make his point. The note read, Grumpy Cat does not like people parking in his spot. Next time, it's Toad. The drawing of Grumpy Cat is spot on, isn't it? Number 17. Crossing the Line Leaving a note on somebody's windshield is one thing, but writing a note right onto the window? That's another. The note read, Learn to park, Helen Keller. Not only is writing on the window rude, but why'd they have to bring Helen Keller into it? What'd she have to do with it? Number 18. You can't take up two spots for days. The person who wrote this note finally had enough. After a few days of the driver taking up two spaces, they wrote a note. The person wrote, I think because I drive a BMW, I can take up two spots for the past three days. No one will think I'm a narcissistic asshole with an unjustified feeling of self-worth. You, move your car, dickhead. Number 19. Merry Christmas? This note doesn't sound too cheery. The author was angry about their parking job, so they wrote, Dear Beetle Owner, here is your welcome note to the Park Like an Asshole Club. You'll be glad to know we have made you an honorary member. Merry Christmas. The author clearly did not have the Christmas spirit. Number 20. Too much time on their hands. The person who wrote this note had way too much time on their hands. You can tell based on the fact that they created four characters out of potatoes. The note read, You've angered the potato clan with your parking choices. If you park in their spot again, they will bring out their produce army. Ah! Okay, you know what? That note's not even clever. Keep trying, Mr. Author. Number 21. A real Chevy hater. The person who wrote this note is probably a Ford fan. The note read, Inconsiderate driver, you drive a piece of shit Chevy that doesn't even deserve one parking spot, let alone two. It'd be greatly appreciated if you only took up one parking spot or simply bought a Ford because Chevys suck. Now, you know what? Chevy drivers, they hate hearing things like that. Number 22. How many notes does this person leave? You gotta leave plenty of notes on cars when you have actual business cards made up for this purpose. This person created a business card that read, Ass Hat Parking League. Well, congratulations, you are now a member of an assholes only parking club. You are a drain on society. Next time, don't be a dipshit. Okay, yeah, this might just be going a bit too far. They actually spent money to get these things printed. Number 23. Pushing it a bit. Writing a note and leaving it on the windshield is one thing, but writing right on the windshield is another. This person wrote, Dog, stop parking in my spot, thanks. While the note wasn't really mean, it was actually kind of friendly. 
The way it was written, however, is kind of crossing the line. Number 24. It's not cool to block someone in. The person who wrote this note was blocked in, again, and they wanted it to be the last time. They left a note that read, The next time you park here and block me, I will monster truck your car into a pile of scrap. Sincerely, the guy you pissed off. <laughs> enough is enough already. Number 25. Funny Business Card This business card is simple and to the point. It reads, I hope you don't fuck like you park. You'll never get it in. <sighs> Ouch. Yeah, the card's clever, but it kind of makes you wonder how often this person gets angry at other drivers. I mean, to have business cards made up saying this, it's got to be a lot. Number 26. Reserved Parking the person who wrote this note is angry the driver took their reserved spot. The next time it happens, they let them know that they will be towed. And worse. Number 27. Cut them some slack. The person who wrote this note must leave them often since they are printed out. The note reads, Hiya! You suck at parking! Seriously, try considering others while you park. The world doesn't just revolve around you and your needs. Number 28. Peanut Butter Revenge The person who left this note on the windshield spread peanut butter all over the windshield, and in the peanut butter they wrote, less expensive than having it towed. Number 29. Rich Drivers The person who left this note was angry and worried about his grandma. The note read, Dear Blue BMW, you look rich. You should buy yourself some parking lessons. You took up two spots. What happens when my handicapped grandmother comes to visit? Her death is on your shoulders. Okay, that may have been a bit of an exaggeration. At least I hope so. Number 30. Stop giving me tickets. Now, the person who wrote this note is obviously waiting for their parking ticket to come in the mail. With each passing day, they get another parking ticket. And so the note reads, Please stop giving me tickets. I already have three this week. I am obviously broke already. I have ordered my new sticker. It's in the mail. I can't make it get here faster. Have mercy. You are ruining my life. Now, just a little tip here. Just because you're given a ticket for illegal parking doesn't mean that you get to continue illegally parking. That You will get another ticket every day until you move your car or until you get that sticker. Subscribe for more.